when we create a heap, its time complexity and space complexity are all big O of n. The space complexity is easy to understand because we're going to create a heap. There must be n elements in the heap. Otherwise, we won't be able to create a heap. And after we have this n element, we must throw the, them. So the space complexity should be big O of n, which changes linearly with n. And then let's look at the time complexity and how could we find out what it is. So for example, we have some numbers here, right? And we need to heapify them. So how should we put them into a heap? We have two options here. The first is to create an empty array directly and add the elements one by one to the heap. So the time complexity is big O of n log of n. First, we have seven because it is only one number. So we don't have to do anything with it. And then we want to insert an element six. So because six is less than seven, so we have to swap the six and seven. So it is one time swap. Six and seven is a minimal heap. And then let's insert the element five because five is less than six and seven. So we have to swap the five and the six, which is also a one time swap. So we have a minimal heap, which is five, seven, six. And then we want to insert a new element four because four is less than its parent node seven. So we have to swap the seven and four. But now four is also less than its parent node five and its brother node six. So we have to swap the four and its parent node five. So in total, we have to swap the node four two times. Now we have the minimal heap four, five, six, seven. And if now we want to insert the element three, three is less than its parent node five. So we have to swap the three and five. And then the node three is less than its parent node four. So we have to swap the node three with four. So in total, we swap the element three two times. So finally, we get the minimal heap three, four, six, seven, five. If we want to create an empty heap and insert elements one by one using heapify, safe up, or heap push operation, the time complexity would be O of n log of n. This is because each insertion takes O of log of n in the worst case, and we are inserting n elements. So in this approach, we start an empty heap and insert elements once at a time. So in each iteration, we may need to perform a log of an operation to maintain the heap property for a binary heap, right? Since we are inserting n elements, so the total time complexity of this process is O of n log n. And this is top-down approach, which is generally slower than the bottom-up approach that has time complexity of O of n.